These are the plaintiffs, Nicole Reason and Kirby Gaston. Nicole says she rented an apartment from the defendant, and as it turns out, she's a bona fide scammer. The woman doesn't own the apartment, and they're here in the good name of justice suing for the $4,500 the defendant stole from them. This is the defendant, Natalie Jean. She says she rented a two-family house from the owner and rented the first floor to the plaintiffs. Then out of the blue, the owner was foreclosed on and tried kicking everyone out of the house quickly. She has no idea why the plaintiffs are suing her because subletting is legal in her state and she doesn't owe them any money in the eyes of the law. That's for sure. She's accused of pretending to be someone she's not. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket. The plaintiffs rented an apartment from the defendant, but they say All she's rise. just a People's squatter court. who Second. stole their money. Yeah, and the defendant says she's a victim, too. The landlord went into foreclosure. It's the case of your house is Let not a home. Morning, Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Nicole Reason. Yes. And Kirby Gaston. Yes. Okay, you are suing Natalie Jean, your landlord, for $4,500 that you want returned to you, the two months' rent you paid, the security deposit, and the dog deposit, because according to you, she didn't have a right to lease to you to begin with. What happened? Okay. January 1st, we gave a total deposit of $4,400, and the third, we gave her additional $100, so that made it a whole total of $4,500. Okay, we did you sign a lease? Yes. May I see the lease you signed? This is what she gave. Do you have the actual lease? As no, to... this is everything that she gave. Okay. okay, so she actually gave you a picture? No, no, no. This okay, is a... that's a picture of something. Do you have the something? I just brought the copies. Yeah, never do that. Always bring an original, which is much easier to read than, than no a picture. All right, so it says move in. Blah, blah, blah. This will be a month to month. So it was a month to month. All right. Now, what's this other document you gave me a picture of? That is a document that she forged the landlord name on, that I never met the landlord. Who is Antoine Sanders? The landlord? He's right here. OK. Can you switch with him, please? All right. According to you, do you, oh, do you have a lease with the landlord? Yes. May I see your lease? You are the landlord. You're the owner of the property. Yes, I am. All right. So now, how long have you been renting to her? I never gave her a lease. How long have you been renting to her? I never rented her out the place. So, so this happened up... in February? Yes, February 1st. And you have received zero payment from her since ever? No. You didn't get... Nobody paid you for January? No. Nobody paid you for February? No. And nobody's paid you for March? No. When I found out that Nicole was staying there, I went there because Natalie did the same thing to another guy. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you the truth. When I found out... You know, if you said good morning, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> Do, it's not funny. Listen, man, Do you have the proof of what you paid her? This is the receipt that she wrote up. Oh, yeah. Well, you gave me a picture. That's this, right? No, that's something else. Yeah, it says 4400 and then 100 And... It says 4200 and 300 on your other document. So how is it that she paid you? There's two receipts from you. How is it that she paid they you? Had, they paid a broker's fee and the security deposit. Broker's no. fee? <laughs> and, and a the broker's fee. fee to who? And they paid Wait a minute. Oh, I love you. I want to take your chutzpah, bottle it up, and sell it to America. A broker's fee? Who's the broker on this one? He doesn't want to be disclosed. Well, then I guess that you're full of baloney and you are simply a common thief who has pocketed 4,500 of their dollars. So here's what's gonna happen, folks. I am ruling against you. You are going to pay them back every penny of the money that you essentially stole from them. And then you can work out with him what it is because he's the one who's really nailed and all of this. So you can work out with him what it is that you should be paying in rent and should have been paying in rent for living there, okay? okay. $4,500 verdict for the plaintiff. Jeez. Ms. Jean, the judge, in fact, just called you a thief. She really lowered the boom on you. What do you have to say? I'm not a thief, I'm sorry. 
I, I'm subletting is legal, and I, that's what I did. But you couldn't prove anything. I, I mean, mean yeah, I didn't bring everything with me. Why not? I'm just, I just did it. I'm sorry. She, are you serious? You, you got so much money from them. They lived in the place. They've been living there, and they paid for their place. So you don't That's think it. you've done thank anything you. wrong? No, Listen, well, I tell you, the judge doesn't believe that at all. You better go while the getting's good. Here come the plaintiff. Seen the whole team of them now. <laughs> what, you brought every, who's everybody? You brought our whole team with you. Stand back over here so they can get a good look at you. All right. <laughs> What, what do you think about what just happened here today? I mean, she's crazy, honestly. Everybody sees she's crazy. I'm just happy that I got my money so I can just be over with this. That's it. That's a lot of money just to, you know, no throw kidding. away like that. No kidding. Now you're still, now you got to work out a deal with him, right? I have no problem doing that. He's okay. You're all right with them being there, right? Definitely. Okay, you can step up over here so we hear you all right. You're, you're okay? They'll stay there? And you'll get at least one. Smile for the camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, look, good luck, however it is. It's a really wild case. Okay? okay. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. I hope you all learned something here. Okay? Thanks. Harvey, what do you have to say about this? Okay. Hey, Doug, you know what? This actually could be grand theft, which, by the way, is a criminal felony. And that will do it.